What's going on, family? I want to welcome you to a full day of eating, my first full day of eating of this prep. I'm currently right under 16 weeks out, and I weighed in this morning at 188 pounds even. So the macros that we're trying to hit, everything's going to be tracked in my fitness pal uh, from the very beginning of the day all the way to the end of the day. 215 grams of protein, 305 grams of carbs, and 63 grams of fat are the goal numbers to hit. Uh, as far as variance, I always allow about 5 to 10 grams on my protein, preferably 5 uh, protein and carbs and about two to three grams variance on my fat. So I'm gonna be as accurate po as possible today, track everything. All I've had this morning is a few glasses of water. Uh, with this glass, I'm using some Mio, which is a zero calorie um, flavoring, berry grape flavor. And it's already 11.15, so about to cook up the first meal and I'm gonna take you guys along the day. Let's get started. <laughs> cooked up what I've got is six egg whites with one serving of paste picante salsa I had some pink Himalayan sea salt and pepper over here I've got two packets of maple brown sugar sugar-free oatmeal with half a serving of the bees knees peanut butter a splash of Walden Farms and salt now after I cook it up guys after I microwave and everything I put all this stuff in and then I like to add a little bit more water and sort of fluff it up a little bit to get a little bit more volume and finally we've got 100 grams of blackberries and 100 grams of raspberries for some fruit. Uh, with this, I'm also gonna take my supplements for the day. I keep it extremely simple, at least with these pills. Uh, I do two gummies, one a day multivitamin, 15 calories in here. I do one serving of vitamin D3, and I also do one serving of fish oil to get my EPA and DHA. Uh, 35 calories in here, three grams of fat. So I, I, do I am gonna track all this to be as accurate as possible. Uh, about 50 calories in supplementation right here. Gonna eat this, enjoy it. Uh, it's taking a while to record. <laughs> uh, so gonna enjoy it. Food's probably cold, and I'll check in with you guys next meal. Headed to the warehouse. I'm gonna take myself one of these white monsters. Total macros so far, I'm at 70 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, and 44 grams of protein. So in tracking fruit, uh, if you guys have any questions on it, what I like to personally do is I always type in USDA, and then I type in the fruit that I'm looking for, so raspberries and blackberries. Uh, but USDA first, and then it'll come up, and then I should put however many grams I had, and I do it in grams, so I had 100 grams, so that'd be one serving. <laughs> What I've got here, guys, at Chick-fil-A. Now, Chick-fil-A is literally like my staple place. <laughs> uh, one of my staple places because it's so accurate, it's so consistent. There's not a lot of variance uh, in you know portions or anything like that. So very consistent. I like it. Good macros. I don't hold water because I'm a lot of sodium. So what I get, I get two. Well, today I'm getting two grilled chicken sandwiches. You have a whole wheat bun with literally a grilled chicken breast, lettuce, and tomato. So I got two of those. Uh, I am doing a diet lemonade, size medium, which comes out to let's see, 20 calories and tastes incredible. It tastes like a, it's so good. This definitely helps with cravings. Uh, diet lemonade, two of these. And this is something new that I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I haven't tried yet, but it's 140 calories, but it's kale, broccoli, and one of those raisins, are they raisins? It looks like dry. Plums or, Plums or something like that. Like that. And I think it's got some right apples in there, but super condensed, uh, 140 calories in this thing. There are exactly, there are, it's called a superfood side from Chick-fil-A. Seven grams of fat, it's probably got some oil. Uh, 16 grams of carbs, three grams of protein. So what I'm gonna do with one of these sandwiches, I'm gonna do a barbecue sauce which I'll track also, and I'll do a buffalo sauce with the other one to get like a different taste. And macros, not including the sauces, I'll do this a little bit later, are, I've got 172 grams of carbs, 32 grams of fat, and 107 grams of protein so far. 
Uh, we're gonna enjoy this, and then we're gonna work out fairly soon. Leg day. See you next meal. Bro, oh, real good. I'm good. <laughs> Thanks so. Mmm. I'm not even lying, guys. It's really good. The dressing takes all the grossness away. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm too hungry right now. So, we're not gonna do. Like, we're gonna go from like 100% cinematic at the beginning of the video to like 60% more time of fishing. So, I'm really hungry. Are you neat too? Yeah. Alright, I got you, bro. I got you, man. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, check it out. Boom, ready? See if I can do a bow. Alright, uh, two pans. I'm gonna go ahead and cook up all of the protein sources I got. So I got some 96.4 lean ground beef, some uh, chicken breast fillets, grab a knife. I'm about to go Chef Guzman hungry mode. Here. Alright. Right here. Here's what I'm gonna do, Just really simply. Uh, I don't have a lot of seasonings. Actually, I only have two seasonings. Well, four if you put salt and pepper. Uh, but I have the essentials. You need lemon pepper, you need some garlic powder, and you need some salt and pepper. But these are the two main ingredients to everything that I do. Any fish I make, any beef I make, any chicken I make, garlic powder, garlic powder, garlic powder, and lemon pepper. Uh, that's really all I use. So here's what I do. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. There's that. Some garlic powder on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some salt, the pink Himalayan sea salt. If you guys have to try, if you haven't, put some pepper. Right, we're gonna do the same thing here, but we're not gonna put pepper on the chicken. We're just gonna do some salt, like a little like that. Some pepper. Oh, this is so much sodium. You're gonna blow it up. No, guys. Water levels are gonna stay consistent with whatever you are consistent with. Meaning, all you have to do to stay consistent with your weigh-ins and things like that and not blow it up is taking a consistent sodium intake. Now, if you're here, normally, normally, then you go eat, you know, 35 uh, buffalo wings at, at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, your sodium shoots up, yeah, you're gonna blow it up a little bit, then you're gonna come back down, even back out to a normal consistent intake. Um, so right here, I'm gonna heat the pans up, got some Pam right here. Wait for these to heat up a little bit more. I'll turn them down to a medium heat. Right now they're high. So I'll, I'll put them at like a five and a half. And then we'll put the stuff on here. While we're cooking, I'm gonna have myself a cookie dough quest bar. Uh, recently they changed the formula and to be completely honest with you guys, they taste a lot better now. They're like, most of the time, or like last prep, I really don't eat these on bulk too much, but last prep I would have like one a day and I was all excited because I would get you know fresh ones, they'd be soft, but literally these are always just soft, uh, no matter what, so I really like the formula. Macros, nine fat, 20 carb, 14 grams of fiber, and 21 grams of protein, and this is gonna hold me over while we cook. John, wasn't a good thing about the 12 inch pans? Is that French? Yeah. This is like a major key. Why? Because, bro, you like broccoli? Yeah. You love broccoli, steamed broccoli? Sometimes. It's all right. Uh, but you know how to eat it why. easy? Put a bunch of cheese on it <laughs> and get a lot of broccoli in. And the macros is literally not bad at all. It's not a lot of cheese at all. So for the entire thing, which is like a lot of volume, you get six grams of fat, 15 grams of carbs, and four grams of protein. 15 carbs and you eat six fat. So you're adding a little bit of fat, yes, but the benefits are awesome. Cheesy broccoli. We're gonna make this with some rice with the protein sources. Mm. And it's all microwavable. You can just microwave this. It's so easy. Chef Guzman, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> all right, a few tips for cooking chicken. John, what's your tip? First tip, your tip. Um, I was talking to Christian, and I think whenever, whenever I cook chicken personally, it takes forever because I cook it, especially chicken breasts, I cook it on a really, really low heat just because it takes, dang, that just burned me. It takes longer to, to cook 
but the chicken will come out a lot more just like juicy and tender. Yeah. My number one tip is, uh, well first of all, we added the lid to it to kind of trap in the heat and lower the temperature, but also I only flip it once. I try to only flip it once because I feel like it crisps really nicely on the side. You don't want to like flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. Just let just it cook it. on one side, yeah. and then after like six, seven minutes, maybe even more, then flip it once, and then be done with it. Beef is done, looks good. Uh, broccoli's in the microwave, then we make the rice. I'm feeling beef right now, honestly. I might put the chicken in Tupperware, and that looks a lot more appetizer right now than the chicken. Just saying. Okay. Javon's a good cook. Way better than Chef Guzman. All right, presentation, look at that. <laughs> All right, gonna put the beef on. This is Javon's, put that over here. So I tracked eight ounces uh, on my fitness pal. My macros ended up perfect, which I'll go over in just a second. So we're gonna change my food scale to ounces. Right there. Grab this. Right at eight. <laughs> All right, seven ounces. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do seven ounces. I'll readjust my macros. Javon's get 4.6 ounces. Oh, that's fluid ounces, my bad. Yeah, you get 4.6 ounces. My bad. Okay. Small container, yeah? All right. Um, so let me adjust my macros really quickly and then I'll go over it a little bit. Current macros after that meal, 300 grams of carbs, 58 grams of fat, 180 grams of protein. So my goals for the day were 305 carb, 63 fat, and 210 grams of protein. 210, 215. So I still need about 25 grams of protein, uh, 25 or 30, and I still need about five grams of fat and about five grams of carbs. So I'm gonna think here for a second, figure out what I can do to be as accurate as possible. Give me like a minute. This is probably the most accurate full day of eating that you're gonna see from me. Actually, I'm not gonna say that. I can be more accurate next time. Next time you see me, I'll be even more accurate. But I figure out a way to make my macros work almost perfectly. I'm changing my food scale to ounces. I need exactly five ounces of chicken breast. I feel like a, like a mad scientist trying to like figure out my formula. But five ounces of chicken breast. I'm gonna cut it down to five ounces so I'm gonna be that guy right now. Five ounces. All right, so five ounces of chicken. And I really don't mind eating plain chicken breast. I just put some Frank's buffalo sauce in there and it's good to go like that. It tastes like, a, if you close your eyes, it's like you're eating wings. It's pretty good. <laughs> and then I'm getting some peanut butter and I'm gonna do 0.25, so a quarter of a serving, which is exactly eight grams. Come on, man. Bro, I wanna be accurate. All right, it went, this is gonna be eight grams. All right. Macros for the day. The goal is 305 carb, 215 protein, and 63 grams of fat. With that, I hit 214 grams of protein, 64 grams of fat, and 303 grams of carbohydrates. So I was only off by one protein, one fat, and two carb. Not bad. Pretty proud of it. I think you can get two carb out of that Minimade Light if you really want to get oh, it. Oh, bro. There's two carbs in there. Check it out, check it out, check it out. It's two carbs, right? One can is five calories and two grams of carbs. Nice. To chug my, dang, Javon, we're pros, man. All right, to, to finish off my chicken, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that. Man, that's accurate. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> I enjoyed today. It was fun. It was really fun. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.